Is that Vin Diesel? Oh yeah, how could we forget about the family man of cars? The numerous films have been a staple in Hollywood known to be packed with scenes like street racing, heists, spies, and some love of course. The franchise also includes short films, a television series, live shows, toys, video games, and theme park attractions. It has been a mega blockbuster, Universal's biggest franchise. It is the 8th highest grossing film series with a combined gross of over $6 billion. Given how much they earned through the franchise and how large the budgets were, it's not surprising that they chose some really cool cars in their movies. So let's go through the 12 fastest cars in the Fast and Furious series. We're going to take you down memory lane to some of the cars in the earlier movies of the series. Number 12, 2010 Dodge Charger SRT8 in Fast 5, 174.3 miles per hour. The first car to make it to this list is in the fifth movie. Guess the first four films were too lame to have faster cars. The four Dodge Charger SRT8 models are found in Fast 5, and two were changed over into heist vehicles. Brian, Dom, Roman, and Han take four squad cars. Two of them are altered to be utilized during the Rio Vault heist, and they operate the other two to mix in with the police. The two matte dark heist vehicles were able to pull a massive metal vault loaded with cash out of a police headquarters, so obviously, their towing capacity was more impressive than their top speed. Be that as it may, these muscular vehicles can produce 470 horsepower since they have 6.4 liter Hemi V8s in their engine. Number 11, 2011 Lexus LFA. In Fast 5, 202 miles per hour. At the end of Fast 5, the major characters are shown living their new lives with the money from the vault. Han and Giselle speed along a highway towards Berlin in the Lexus LFA. The model can speed up from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and reach a top speed of up to 202 miles per hour, which is terrific. It's a great sports car fueled by a 4.8 liter V10 72 degree bank angle with Bridgestone Potenza tires. Unfortunately, the LFA never makes an appearance in the movie series again. What a shame. Number 10. Tages and Roman's 2010 Koenigsegg CCXRs in Fast 5, 249 miles per hour. Compared to some of the car makers on this list, Koenigsegg is a genuine rookie. Despite this, they have figured out how to build a significant following. This was expected to be the vehicle highlighted in Fast and Furious 5. Crude carbon fiber and a gigantic wing make the car look like a Decepticon extra from the Transformers movie. The Swedish brand manufactured only 30 standard CCXs, just barely passing the prerequisite of 25 to be considered a production car. Just four CCXRs were ever built. That makes it the second quickest car here, and also their rarest. Number 9. 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona in Fast and Furious 6, 200 miles per hour. This was a featured vehicle in Fast and Furious 6. The first Daytona number 88, driven by Buddy Baker, has impacted the world forever as the primary NASCAR vehicle to break 200 miles per hour on the track. McCarthy and his group apparently found seven 69 Chargers for the film. They were fortified the same and built with some custom body panels made from fiberglass for the nose, trunk, and wings. It also had a 420 horsepower LS3 crate engine supported by a turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission with a manual valve body. As great a car the Daytona may seem, just wait for the next ones on this list. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like by clicking the like button below. Number 8. The Pagani Zonda F in Fast and Furious 6, 214 miles per hour. The Italian sports car manufacturer stunned the world with the Zonda back in 2009. The style of this car resembled a spaceship much more than an automobile, and the audience loved it. The Zonda instantly became a fan favorite. The F variation is named after the Argentinian Formula One racing star, Juan Manuel Fangio. Pagani made the Zonda highlight that if your pockets are deep enough, you can have both hypercar speed and unbelievable styling in one package. And to be fair, they succeeded. Number 7. Letty's 2003 Dodge Viper SRT10 Coupe in Furious 7, 206 miles per hour. The Viper was an instant hit. As soon as it was released, there were posters of it almost everywhere, and before long, every car enthusiast jumped of owning this monstrous vehicle. It was launched in 1991, and Dodge made sure to style the car in such a way that its silhouette was unforgettable. The car was featured in three of the Fast and Furious movies due to its instant popularity. Although the actors in the film, arguably, were not very good, it did not detract from the attention the SRT10 was receiving. The car could pump up to 500 horsepower, 
and 525 pound-feet of torque. It was priced at $79,995. Unfortunately, the production of the car came to an end in 2017. Number 6. Tejas Ferrari 458. In Furious 7, 210 miles per hour. Hardly any car brand holds as much influence over the hearts of fans as Ferrari. The Ferrari brand has a prestigious family line and legacy in motorsports that traces all the way back to the Monaco Stupendous Prix in 1950. We understand why the Maranello-based manufacturer is highly selective about where their vehicles are allowed to appear, whether it be films or other media channels. As gorgeous as the 458 might be, the numbers are worth paying attention to. The 562 horsepower Ferrari 458 in Giallo Modena, a pigment of yellow used to paint this model, shows up on screen in one or two scenes. However, with its 4.5 liter V8 firing up to 9,000 RPM, fans were happy to see it highlighted. Number 5. Deckard's 2012 Lamborghini Aventador. In Furious 7, 217 miles per hour. Since the Countach, Lamborghinis have forever been dream vehicles. Following the naming practice that started with the Mira, the Aventador is named after a Spanish fighting bull. The car's crisp lines and taut curves resemble the aggressive stance that a bull has. The Aventador has a drag coefficient of 0.23 and all-wheel drive, so it can show off its power with elegance. This beauty is covered in black from top to bottom and driven by the infamous Deckard Shaw in Furious 7. The Aventador makes Lamborghini styling much more aligned with the Batmobile category. Mysterious and dark, and Jason Statham's badass look perfectly aligns with the reputation of this magnificent beast. Number 4. Brian's McLaren MP4 12C Spider in Furious 7, 218 miles per hour. To most car enthusiasts, the McLaren F1 is the greatest automobile ever engineered. The car had a focus on functional engineering over artistic design since the British manufacturer created the vehicle shape for aerodynamic efficiency. It holds the world record for the fastest naturally aspirated road car. Following a long break from assembling their vehicles, McLaren returned with the production of this car. Once they gathered data from the Formula 1 racing experience, the car was able to win third place in a race. Seems like this technologically advanced spider would be a perfect addition to Tony Stark's collection. Number 3. Roman's 2011 Bugatti Veyron. In Furious 7, 253 miles per hour. The idea behind the Veyron was a basic one, to create the most extravagant, comfortable, stylish, and fastest vehicle of all time. With more speed than a Lamborghini and a luxurious interior like a Rolls Royce, the Bugatti has it all. It took a seven year development process for this car to finally reach production, which is pretty quick compared to other companies in this space. The Bugatti is a surprising accomplishment of modern day design that appears as though it was torn out of the pages of a comic book. We're looking forward to catching another movie in the entire Fast and Furious series, assuming they make more. And we don't doubt they will have more impressive vehicles, so it might just be a matter of time before the Veyron loses its place in this list. Until further notice, even the entry-level model of this car has a higher top speed than any vehicle highlighted in the movies. Number 2. Dom's 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon in F9, 211 miles per hour. The Fast and Furious movies have featured various sports cars over 20 years, and a significant number of those have been variants of the famous Dodge Challenger. This highest ranking entrant vehicle from Detroit is probably the most powerful V8 vehicle ever manufactured. While the Dodge Challenger may not be the speediest car ever, it is still a charmer. The supercharger whine, exhaust crackles, and deep V8 sounds transform all that power into a symphony. Dodge made a factory tuned beast out of the Dodge Challenger that can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds and has a base MSRP of $86,090. Number 1. Magdalene Shaw's 2018 Noble M600 in F9, 215 miles per hour. The 2018 Noble M600 made its debut in F9. The M600 is handcrafted in Leicestershire, Britain, by a team of 20 engineers and designers. The 4.4 liter V8 engine used in the M600 was originally developed by Yamaha for use in Volvos. Noble gives purchasers the decision of different power outputs that is provided by its twin turbocharged B8444S motors. The vehicle's carbon fiber body keeps the overall weight down to just 2,760 pounds, lighter than your typical hatchback. The car is seen in F9 when Magdalene Shaw steals an expensive necklace from a jewelry store on New Bond Street in London. Which car would you take for a ride? Actually, which car would you want to drive with Vin Diesel? Let us know in the comments below.
Please like and subscribe to our channel and let us know what you would like to see next. Stay tuned and connected. Bye for now.